Hello everyone, how are you doing? In this lesson, we will get to know some of Blender's main polygonal modeling tools. Blender has several modeling tools that allow us to create almost any type of object. And although we will not address all of them in this course, we will see that even if a few tools, it's possible to create very interesting projects. To show these tools, I will delete the initial cube of the scene, and I will create a sphere by using the Shift A shortcut, going to the Mesh submenu, and by clicking on UV sphere. And now, I'm going to enter the object edit mode by going to the interaction mode menu up here. Very well. So we can start to explore the tools. I will click on the corner of the toolbar here on the right and drag to the center of the 3D view so we can see the names of each button. The tools icons have a very good design and when you know each of them, you can easily identify each tool by just looking at the icon. But while we are learning, it may be a good idea to make the names visible until we get used to the icons. In this lesson, we will focus on these first three buttons of the Toolbars Polygonal Modeling Tools group. The Extrude, the Inset and the Bevel. So, let's start by activating the Extrude tool. Extrude is a tool that acts on the faces of the object. Then, we can also activate the face selection mode up here. Now, if we select a face and we have the Extrude Region tool active, we will see a plus icon in front of the face. If we click on this icon and drag inside, we create a negative extrusion. That is, Blender pushes the polygon inward, creating new polygons that connect the polygons in question to the rest of the geometry. And if we select a polygon and click on the plus icon and drag it out, we create a positive extrusion. Right after using the extrude, we can see that besides the plus icon, you can see an arrow in front of the face. If we click and drag on this arrow, we can reposition the polygon, adjust the size of the extrusion. And if we click on the plus icon again, we create a new extrusion with new polygons. You can also use the extrude with multiple polygons selected at a time. So, if we select some polygons by holding down the Shift key, we can extrude them all at the same time. Now, let's see what happens if we try to extrude an entire loop at once. Then, I will select an entire loop here from the sphere by holding down the Alt key and clicking next to one of the vertical edges of one of these polygons. And now I will click on the Add icon of the extrude and drag. As we can see, the result is a bit strange, because all of the polygons are extruded in the same direction. Then I will undo the command using the Ctrl Z shortcut. And I will now show some variations of the extrude that are useful for this type of situation. To access these variations, we will click on the Extrude Region button here in the toolbar and keep the button pressed. As we can see, there are some variations of the Extrude tool here, and the ones that will be interesting for this situation are the Extrude Along Normals and Extrude Individual. I will start by activating the Extrude Along Normals. With this tool active, we will see that if we click and drag, each face will be extruded in the direction of its own normal. 
and if we switch to extrude individual and we click and drag we will see that each polygon will be extruded individually separated from the adjacent polygons now let's take a look at the inset faces tool which we activate just below the extrude tool when this tool is active we can select one or more polygons and click and drag This will reduce the original polygons and create a group of polygons by connecting the original polygons to the rest of the geometry. And if we want the inset to occur individually for each polygon, right after using the command, we can open the properties panel down here and mark the individual option. This will cause the inset to be performed individually for each selected polygon. And finally, let's take a look at the Bevel tool, which we activated right below the inset tool here in the toolbar. To use this tool, I will activate the Edge Selection mode up here. And now, I will select one of those edges of one of those corners that we created with the extrude. And if you have the bevel tool active and click and drag, we will see that this tool splits the original edge in two, creating a chamfer on the selected edge. We can also select an entire set of edges. and use the command. Also, we can open the Properties panel down here and set some parameters like size and the number of segments. And then, that's it. These are basic tools but they are among the most important tools of polygonal modeling softwares. And in the next lesson, we will see how to use the tools and commands we have seen so far to finally model the airplane of our projects.